Hello and welcome to Brocco Lane. Um, here's a, an unboxing video uh, and those uh, regular viewers of mine will be saying oh no not another bloody pannier tank but uh, this is a bit different this is uh, it's a no gauge version of the 8750 pannier tank and this is from a company which is completely new to me they are called uh, Minerva model railways and I've probably pronounced that wrong um, these have been in the business for a few years now um, they sell direct from their own website they're not available in the shops as far as I know um, they've done uh, about three different versions of industrial tank engines which I've noticed before and they look very nice but I've never really um, really been too bothered about industrial locomotives but this is a departure for them this is the first um, mainline uh, type locomotive um, the Great Western uh, Pannier Tank so we'll have a look at this nice sturdy box of the old Helgen style design that they're all adopting now um, which is difficult to get undone with one hand there we go um, yep yeah, nice nice box um, there's a part number on the end there um, this is where they're based um, there's the website if you want to um, purchase one. Uh, now this was uh, £265 uh, plus about £9 carriage uh, which is not too bad for a, for a large O gauge model um, you know compared with the prices we pay for the um, double O gauge uh, stuff now which I've uh, ranted on about before with the Elgin 13XX and so on uh, so we've got um, a nice little leaflet here, um, warranty, maintenance, um, and so on. Let's open that up. <coughs> um, how to get the body off, um, instructions on lubrication, installing DCC and sound. Now these are available with DCC chips fitted and with sound fitted I believe. Um, although I've gone for the plain DC version. Uh, now it doesn't come with etched plates, uh, but there is a coupon or a discount uh, to order them online from Narrow Planet, which I've ordered uh, plates from before. So I think you can choose any number and they'll send them to you and that's just uh, where to position them. So, what else we got? Oh, there's also a lot of accessories in here to fit customize your locomotive uh, which are here I believe <clears throat> now this is a BR black version so you've got uh, black painted um, details and there's all sorts of pipes that run along the top of the bunkers um, toolboxes um, yeah, vacuum pipes all sorts of things in there which I'm gonna have to uh, when I've chosen my running number um, I'll have to look at photos and uh, make sure I get the, the right details added because they all differed. So the usual foam inlays, which is uh, sturdy stuff, quite strong. Here we go. There we go. BR black with a lake crest and the option was uh, with or without the top feed and I went for the one with the top feed which limits your numbers a little bit I think um, although in BR days I think most of them had top feeds as far as I know but I'm going to have to check into that before choosing my number let's get her out of the box I can tell that's a nice cold die cast chassis there nice and strong oops right it's fairly heavy You see it doesn't come with the number on the front, which won't be a problem because I'll I'll get one of those orders and stick it on myself as the cab side number plate also nice and plain and they will need to number what you like. Well it certainly looks like a pannier tank to me. Um, those marks are just my fingerprints I think. So let's have a look. Uh, I think it's going to have sprung buffers, 
you'd expect sprung buffers in no gauge anyway. Um, nice livery application, but of course there's not much. It's only black, of course. Now I do plan on weathering this one. Nice detail down there on the wheels. Shiny coupling rods. You're going to go out to focus. Now look at the cab detail, if you can see it. Let me try and angle it another way. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Really nice cab opening doors. Uh, coal bunker empty, so I'll put my own coal in it. Yep, very nice. Now I've only I'm got a layout for this. I've got a bit of O-gauge track, which I'm going to try that on now. But quite impressed so far. Right, so I've only got this set up on the carpet, which is not advisable really because you get fluff in them. But for this, it'll be fine. Uh, so let's see how it runs. This is very old, crappy track as well. That's nice and quiet. Yep. This is DC, remember? It's going to need running in, but uh, that's pretty good. Nice and smooth. So there you are. This is only recently released. Um, this is the first version that was available with the curved top, which is the 8750. There is also a 57XX version coming up which is the has got the square top um, cab which is a little bit older uh, and also a 57XX with riveted tanks which is one that wasn't built by Swindon because all sorts of companies around the country also helped Great Western build them and they decided to put riveted tanks on uh, which would be a nice variation and that's at the end of the year I believe uh, liveries I believe they're doing um, the Great Western uh, livery as well as the BR, uh, which crest they're doing I'm not too sure, but I'm, I'm sure they'll get around to all of them. Um, so yeah, I'm really impressed with that. Now Daypol are also doing one of these, um, although that is going to be much later in the year. Now I did see one of those at a show recently, and that looks equally as impressive. Uh, one thing that has that this doesn't has got a working inside motion which um, I saw um, actually operating at one of the shows which looked very good um, but I, you know I may well get one of those um, when they come out I think they're going to be around the £200 mark, 225 something like that, so a little bit cheaper um, but you know I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with this one um, there's a few um, details they could have done like opening uh, cab roof Actually, let me check with it. I haven't got that. <laughs> no, it doesn't open. And the uh, the back doors there, but I, I'm happy with that. And it looks it's going to look really nice in the cabinet. And and maybe I'll uh, show you next time um, what I've done to it because um, I do plan on doing quite a bit of heavy weathering to this. And also going to put the um, the lightning flashes there, the, the overhead warning. Uh, uh, marks on there and also this is a Dean Forest um, locomotive which I haven't quite decided uh, which one yet but uh, I'll be adding a uh, crew and also Springside lamps and all those details that are in the box so um, hope you enjoyed seeing this loco um, if you do want one uh, you need to go to their website um, and or direct but that's, I think that's a really nice model and who knows, I might have to build an O-gauge uh, layout next. So um, I'll see you in part two. Give me a couple of weeks or so. Um, I'll get this weathered up and shown to you. And I'm hopefully going to have um, quite a unique looking model. Um, so I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Subscribe. And uh, I better do some uh, double O-gauge next time. Keep my uh, double O people happy. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.